nothing to be done. The river will carry her seeds. We can't give up. If we just... Enough! What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. How was Kalai chosen to join the Chorus? The Chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontory. The place where the first Dutaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took, mark her eyes with dye, and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new Chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain song is dying, but Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands, she proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utara keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless.
for Kali's sea pouch. I better start at the bridge. from the search party. Reese said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. 
Looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. Search party climbed the cliff instead. This broke off some time ago. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? Taru Trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, looks like pieces of a bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. A lot of the trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. the top she must have been a good climber it doesn't add up that she fell this must be the promontory looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table I should take a look I was playing song just like the first Utaru saw it flowers ground into a dye well, I must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Looks like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. This was part of the Rite of Discovery. All of the marks look old. Climb must not have gotten to this part. Die trail ends here. With a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Recently. 
Some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but... Who's the other woman? Kalai... Those marks on her neck... She was strangled... At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Over just yet. Oh, Stoker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Grab the killer's seat pouch. Might help identify her. Well, we'll have to worry about running out.
Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. Calais' death. Perhaps it's time to move on. No, not until I hear from Aloy. That's Calais. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seat pouch. Belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summerwind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Once you went up that cliff, you stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. The tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I am sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. <sighs> Two people dead. At least you're paying with your life. My choice. All of this was your choice. <sighs> no! She needed to stand trial. Kalai deserves justice. She's dead, Bree. That 
that's justice enough. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. Welcome to the garden. How are you doing, Bree? Is this where you planted your wife's seeds? It is. They're a part of Plainsong now. Where they can take root and flower. I miss her. But I'll keep pushing for change, just like she would have. I still can't believe something so... She didn't deserve any of this. But at least I have this to remember her by. I'm sorry for your loss. Even if one day we leave Plainsong, I'll know the seeds she carried will have been part of our people's cycle. And it's all thanks to you, Aloy. May you always walk in a field of plenty. Aloy, I suppose it's only natural that you should be here for this. Those are Kel's seats. And Linus, the other pouch you recovered from the promontory. Because of their crimes, their seeds cannot be planted in plain song. They must be given to the river, to be carried to distant lands. Perhaps there they will find a new start. Kells and Lina's families didn't want to be here for this. So, it falls to me to carry out the task. I know this must be difficult for you. Kell was an ally. But I never thought she would go to such extreme lengths. I... Her fate is deserved. May these waters take you to a verdant spring. It's done. <laughs> 